Yep. And then I'm going to explain via chat. Let's see. Uh, Okay. So I think I think we're back on. Uh, Alan, they should have the minimal delay now. Okay. Uh, but basically, I'll say it again. Uh, we were talking about show don't tell and how the video game version of that is um, leading the audience usually with light or architectural uh, elements to kind of guide the player's eye. You don't have to spell it out for them with cutscenes or pop-up dialogue or, or anything like that. You just got a voiceover or narration or... But you do gotta kind of paint the way or any response, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a classic strategy, isn't it, right? You know you're going in the right direction when bad guys keep jumping out. Yeah. Yeah. So, hmm. okay, that asshole better get back over here, because I have a metal pipe, and I want to use it on his back. On his legs, or on his legs. <laughs> well, this guy's only got two legs, he doesn't have four legs like those other ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, he does have four legs, yeah. Oh, jeez. Right in the ghoulies. So we're headed for, um... This giant area on the map. Yeah. I wonder what could be in there. It's going to be like two pyramid heads at the same time. Two pyramid heads at the same time. They're, they're doing a, a wall in the center. A oh, pyramid wait. pyramid head wall. Wait, there's another... Um... Shit. Why are, are you those, talking about all those? Like, why are those, those doors guys? not crossed off? Didn't we visit those already? Yeah, I... I thought so. Now I gotta do it. All right. Well, hopefully we'll find um, the next tablet. <laughs> yeah, I mean that is. And there's another set up there too that's not crossed off. Right. Right. Yeah. There's so a whole we, a whole row. So we gotta go and check, I guess. Where the? I am losing my mind. Apparently, I didn't see a door. I don't see a door here. It would be right here, right? To, to get into the large room? No, no, no. Or to get into the... No, it'd be down at the... It'd be, like, it'd be right there, yeah. I am, Wouldn't it? I am right on it. And there's... Well, uh, there should be an extension in the hallway, right? Like down oh, further. oh, there's a gate here at the bottom. Oh. That I can't open. Oh. So, but there should be a door, right? Oh, here it is. Let's 
so... Oh, there, yeah, I see it. I, I'm pretty sure... We've been all up and down this hallway. Yeah. And I guess these are just gates that I just happened to not... Knock on. Yeah. And that creepy mumbling. Oh my god. It's really super creepy. You know, there's been a notable lack of um, combination locks in this prison. Where are you going to put them? Doesn't matter. You're going to put one in the warden's office, and that's it. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I guess I guess they really don't respect logic in these in these games that much. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really know where, where combination locks would, uh, would fit in in a prison. Unless they have, like, a bike rack or something where they have to store bikes. I mean, I, I got no idea. Okay. This isn't like a fancy European prison where they wouldn't have the ability to ride bikes around. This is a dank <laughs> American prison, uh, you know, in the Pacific Northwest. Okay. Think, think about it if, if Twin Peaks had like a prison, like what it would be like, you know, probably. So I, I think it, I think maybe Twin Peaks' prison would be nicer than this, though. Yeah, no, it, it would absolutely. Um, okay, so we got we got into the giant. Oh, we're in the giant room, and it sounds creepy, as I would expect. We got some pipes going on. We got some a floor. Or, ornate pipe work. This is like uh, Brazil. Let's talk about ducts. Yeah. I want to cuddle. Up upgrade my ducts. Yeah, I love that movie love that movie so much. It sounds like there's someone running around in the room with me. But I don't see yeah, you anything. Can, you can't even see the other side. No. You gotta walk. You gotta go towards them. I you gotta... Gotta, you gotta, be, you gotta be brave. Oh, oh that's, that's not good. That's not good. What the fuck is that? That is a gallows, my friend. Oh man. So I guess this is the uh the uh the execution chamber. Yeah. This is a ridiculous mismanagement of real estate. Yeah. I like I, how they just put in this I like it how they just put it in the center like it's some kind of uh you know, like town square or something inside the prison. Right. I mean we are deep below ground. Yeah. I dare you to walk up on it. I dare you to walk up on it. I'm going to. Oh, to oh, oh, oh. It. Hold up. Hold up. There is some... A door. Uh, or something else, or... Some kind of a relief up here? What is this? Oh, you mean it's on the... Uh, ooh. There is, um... Okay, so that, like a that's a man being hanged... Yeah. ...next to... To triangle face, to pyramid heads, two pyramid heads being like for the execution. I was I was going for triangle face because it's like two D, but oh yeah, sorry. And it's not a pyramid. We've established. That oh it's yeah, actually no. a pyramid. Totally a fake pyramid. It's actually pyramid. it's a, it's, a, it's a actually triangle head. Or uh, we couldn't we didn't know the actual geometric shape. We actually were looking for it. So it looks like there are three rectangular spots on there, uh, covered by shell art. Is that? Could that be for the release? Yeah, at the bottom there. Yeah. You yeah. Have to I, order them properly. I think it is foreshadowing. I think we are absolutely going to see two pyramid heads at the same time. That's when you put the relief in. I'm going to walk up there now. Oh God! I just fell like an idiot. Don't you? Have are you going to put the release, the, the, uh, the three, the three uh, tiles in? Yes, I'm going to do that, but, but you also, walk up here first. Oh. I just want to get up here. Okay. Take a look around. 
Are you hearing that shit? Do you do you hear? Do I hear something? Let me let me let me turn it up a little bit. Oh my god. No Palandy, you're gonna be hung. Get used to it. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it. Spooky sound. Okay. All right. So, do you have to do a certain order, or you think you you think it'll just resolve to the right order? I, I think it'll. Um... Oh, you want me to uh, bump up the game audio? I can do that. I can do that real nice. Hold on. If I was gonna guess, I would say that the uh, the gluttonous pig is in the middle. Is gonna go in the middle, and I would say the the other ones are gonna go on the wings. Yeah. I mean, could be. Who cares? That's my guess. Well, I, I, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay, I bumped it up I, a little bit, Palandy, so uh, let me know how that is. Cause the oppressor wouldn't really be the guilty party. The gluttonous pig, gluttony is a sin. It's, it's, it's picking guy. where they go, I think. Okay, fine. Fine, just do it. Just do it. Oh wait! Yeah, no, no, no. There is, there's a riddle here, right? We didn't. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I give you the blood to atone for the three sins. Okay. Well, I guess maybe that isn't. Yeah, the oppressor. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna put him in. All right, fine. I would say that the the oppressor and the other one go on the edge, and the gluttonous pig goes in the middle. That would be my, my, my guess. That is what we're doing. And then Pyramid Head's gonna run out, and uh. Uh yeah, it could be. I am super weak though. I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh my god! What a horrible scream! So. We yeah, got right um we got we got the the tablets in there. And I am up on the on the gallows now. Yeah. Just just hanging out. Just hanging out. He's really bad at falling. I don't know. Um did we did we unlock something in the room or no? I don't know. Do you think we just leave? No, I mean, I, I would guess that something gets triggered. In, maybe we did it wrong and something gets triggered in the room. Okay, so we've got the gallows on the map now. Um, yeah. Which... The last time we had a puzzle like this on the map, it was the fridge. And we had to come back yeah. to it. Uh, I can... Um, I can try and do something. So I have... Uh, I have wax and a lighter that I can try to combine... And no, that doesn't, that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can take the tablets out. I don't. So they're, they're correct. normally, normally they would give me a prompt to like move or, or remove. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to leave. I'm bugging out. Okay. See you later. All right. All right. Bug out. If they're in there correctly, then or we can't change it right now, then we can't change it right now. Oh. They wouldn't. Um... No. Okay. So, hanging from the door, we got a shoe horse. Horse shoe. That <laughs> combination of words. Horse horseshoe. The horseshoe. Um. Uh Right, yeah. Either 
either they're in the right order or or they don't care. Oh. Oh. Okay, so the the gallows is now resolved. It's got a check mark on it. That means we're done. Okay, so we got to the getting a horseshoe with the object then. Yeah, but now what the Well, we have to go outside to the we have to go to the recreation area and play horse now. Okay, that's or we have to, an interesting idea. Or we have to shoot the, the special horse. I don't shoot know. the special horse. The spectral special horse. Ghost horse. Spectral, okay. The psychic equine. Yes, the uh, residual ghost of a horse. I like that. Residual ghost of a horse. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, so where where do we go? That's a good question. Like seriously, question. where do we go? Because all I see are what is B one F? What is B one F? Yeah, that's a great question. What uh, is B one F? So there's a set of stairs over by the theater. Yeah. And no. uh, <laughs> Psychic Equine is a Pokemon. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> there's a Psyduck and a Psy Horse. Yeah, Psy Horse. <laughs> Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Yeah, just imagine when we're going to have like AR horror games. Like you're just going to be walking around, there's going to be ghosts everywhere like you point your you point your phone or you point your uh your ar glasses at like a plant and it turns into like spirit photography of the plant and then like you, you're looking around you're seeing ghosts and shit and though you could really like screw with people because you could give people like auras and stuff and everything yeah like you know you could potentially drive someone really crazy <laughs> like you you designed the game incorrectly It just really the the thing that, that I think the thing that's most hilarious to me about um, about Pokemon Go is the what people are naming some of the Pokestops and everything, or the Pokestops that are that are appearing, or like you know, and every you know that's that's really funny to me. Like I, um, or the one or the I, one where it's like I'm yeah, not sorry. that familiar with like what the fuck a Pokestop is or like what happens beyond what I've played, which is just catching some bullshit that works its way into my car or house that's, catching, that's it catching bullshit the Pokestop like when you stop there it's, it's like a geographic location okay and either it's like you get experience points when you kind of like hit it and you get items or what people do is they also drop lures around the Pokestop and if you drop a lure there for 30 minutes the Pokemon show up around there and sometimes the Pokemon congregate around them too Oh, yeah, Ingress. No, I, I know. Ingress was I know a separate this, game. Yeah, the Pokemon, the Pokestop, the uh, the Pokestops were named were definitely part of the Ingress. So the, the environments were tagged as part of Ingress, but hmm. they have their, their their purpose. Yep, that's that's correct. Yeah, but they're definitely um, the Pokestops are the Ingress tagged in places, but they have different. You know, they, I I don't think they work exactly the same as they work in Ingress because. They made portals, and then those portals... Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so I guess that it was user-generated content. They're just using the user-generated content to make the um, the Pokestops. Oh, yeah, Dead Baby Memorial. We, we were talking about... We were talking... I was talking about Dead Baby Memorials with someone else. Yeah, they don't this is the them. first I uh -huh. heard about it. Yeah, I was talking about it with, with not, I wasn't talking about it with you, but it was, uh, somebody made Cross Guy. Uh, yeah, I saw, I saw Jesus yeah, Cross Guy. Cross Guy, yeah. They aren't editable, and yeah, that's correct. Um, no one, no one's correct, yeah. I mean, like, uh, I don't know, maybe they thought the maturity level of the average Pokemon Go player was lower, so you can't edit the names of the, of, of the stop. It's probably smart. That would be, that would be really... Because it's going to be like Griefer teens playing it. 
that I guess I guess maybe they didn't expect like the adult fan base and they thought it was gonna be <laughs> the Church of Jesus Christ it was apparently a scientist. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the Church of Jesus Christ who apparently was a sci- was apparently a scientist beats a cross guy. I don't know, this all sounds like strong stuff. I don't think uh, Nintendo could have done this on purpose. Yeah. I wonder if the uh, there's a Shaolin uh, a Shaolin temple in Sherman Oaks. I wonder if that's actually like a Pokestop. I haven't been by there yet, so that would be really funny if it was like a Pokestop or a gym. Like the Shaolin temples are kind of like it's in it's in kind of a, like a strip mall kind of area. Yeah. Not like it's not like a strip mall, but like it's with a couple other businesses. It's, it's you totally think like the Shaolin temple would be in something that looks more like a temple. I think but we no, got. Looks, I think we got this, Brian. I think this is uh, this is what we need. This is the B1F. This is the portal or the uh, the way to get to B1F. I think so. Okay. I'm gonna try and melt some wax to make it handle. This is so dumb. How could that even work? Melt the wax with the horseshoe. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I understand that. I mean, Nintendo has all kinds of filters. I think in the chat stuff for uh for that i would imagine that niantic probably would implement that at their behest broken slide to be one of <laughs> i am trying to poke a slide as hard as i can but this game yeah. is like cock blocking me uh so so combine Thanks, there's, there's no point combine use I okay I think you need to do MacGyver and uh, MacGyver style thing and like make a, a welding kit and then or or like have something that can can like cut through metal or you know like uh like when James Caan uh Al Capone's vault that's what's in there god damn it Like when James Khan cuts into the vault in Thief, he cuts through like a safe. He uses like a, like a, sort of like a cut, like an industrial plasma torture or something. It's like a kind of a famous scene in Thief. Yeah, you should, you should make a plasma torch right now. I'm doing it. Please. Make a, make a plasma torch out of the wax doll. It's the happening. And the it's happening here. right now. I fucking owned that shit after the sixth attempt to combine shit with other shit in that shitty fucking menu shit. What the fuck? What? What? How does that even work? Yeah, it doesn't matter. How do you it's not, fine. How do you, how do you not yank the horseshoe out of the whack? It's, you have to let it cool, man. You gotta get it, give it just a minute. That was, that was fucking stupid. I'm sorry. All right, Brian. Are uh, are we ready to, to jump in? Yeah, we're ready. This is basically myth. Guess what the fuck we want you to do? Yeah, I mean it's kind of like myth, except um, the thing I heard about myth. Yes, jump in. Do it. Yeah. 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 Come on. Do it. Yeah, the thing I heard about Myths, which is kind of funny, is that the uh, the the family that made the brothers that made the game, like they apparently had a church. They're like their own church. I don't know if this is true or not. This is something a college professor told me. But they supposedly had their own church, where their religion or whatever they were doing was like Myths <laughs> or something. Like I don't know if it's true or not. It sounds apocryphal, um, and I've never been able to find a reference on it to it online. Kind of things are, you know, I think there's plenty of been plenty of things written about weird religious beliefs of, of like, you know, game developers and so on, but I've yeah. never been able to find actual reference to it. So, yeah, I just probably slandered the uh, creators of myth on the, uh, like, the, 
the, what, I forget what their names are. I don't even remember. I, yes, I know. No, I, I can't. You can't trust college professors. You can't trust them. Especially this guy. This guy. Uh, this, this guy. The, the guy that basically told us. I think he went on to be. I don't know. He might be. He. he I think he's like the dean of SCAD now. <laughs> SCAD as in Savannah. As in Savannah College of Art and Design. Yeah, that was. Uh, I remember that was my school's big rival. Was your rival? Were yeah. you, it wasn't like a sports. It was like a sports rival. No, or <laughs> no Ringling doesn't have any kind of sports team. In can fact, you imagine, like, in can, fact, can you imagine, can you Ringling imagine, like, has two fucking Quidditch teams of all the fucking the, shit under the land. The Ringling. So, like the sports, the sports rivalry would be something like the Ringling, um, the Ringling Clowns versus the Scad uh, Mint Juleps. Yeah. That's right. I don't know what it no, would be like. It's, it's, not, it's not scat. It's scad. S C A D. Scat. <laughs> scat. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. Ma, if you were in a German Scheiße movie, you would tell me, right? <laughs> I love all yeah. these feet, just uh, petite feet, feminine piled up. step. Just piled Sounds up like in a holes. lady when he was walking in the room. He's got petite feet, feminine step. Sounds like a lady when he's walking in the room. This is what a man sounds oh, like. Oh Jesus when Christ! How many more fucking holes are we gonna have to jump down? How many? How how many holes are we in already? At, know, le at least three. We're you know, already I'm, three holes deep. I know. Like, it's just holes on top of holes on top of holes in this game. But this hole is, like, the most gruesome hole of all, because it's got all kinds of gore plastered all over it. Yeah, yeah. This is like the Hellraiser hole right here. <laughs> uh Pinhead what, wearing what uh, the, wearing a little button the, on his suspender that says, Ask me about divine pleasure. That's what I was gonna yeah. remember. I was gonna, I was gonna like ask what the catchphrase was again. It was something like divine. Like, do you know like the the meaning of divine? Like, I forget what the catchphrase. <laughs> you just reminded me what the catchphrase, yeah. which, which what the catchphrase was. So here we go. You were not a big fan of Hellraiser movies. I think we discussed I, that already. I really don't like Clive Barker in general. Do Do you hate Night? You see Nightbreed, right? Nightbreed is passable, but you know, only barely. Yeah. It's that the Cronenberg cameo, right? I mean, it's not even. Yeah, a huge yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I think we've had the whole Clive Parker discussion before on stream. I don't want to so go why? through this door at all. Yeah, I don't like this creepy ass music in here. James Sunderland, what's your take? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe Mary's in here. Yeah. Could be. Could be Mary. My could wife. be Could be Maria. My wife. I did kind of like on Lady Dynamite how the guy who was doing the Borat quotes um, and everything in the office was uh, the office jokes part of Lady Dynamite. That was kind of funny. That guy. I mean, in the in the sad way of well, that Lady Dynamite is funny. Okay, so four holes down. Four holes. We're we're gonna make it a fifth. <laughs> oh come on, come on. We're going down another hole. Man, down in a hole. Yes, James. Yes, you have to drop through it. Yeah, because we're controlling you. So I mean, I mean, I think it would be great if you ended up in a Denny's or something, like through the last hole. Oh man, you remember in the last stream how they had all those quiz questions and shit? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What happened with that? They well, we we haven't again. we haven't been back yet. Yeah, we have to answer. We should have been checking around for the answer. Well, I mean, class. yeah, shit. I don't know. It's gonna be tough. But uh, we'll give it a shot whenever we get out of here. 
Yeah, the quiz questions were weird, too. Okay, so we're like in some kind of a mine elevator thing. Oh, I thought we were going to go up, but we're going down. Because we're not deep enough. Yeah. Welcome to the well to hell. You were here. Did we ever have the Mel Soul discussion? A what? Mel Soul. Did you? Ever, we're going down holes right now. Did we ever talk about Mel Soul? I don't. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Okay, so on the Art Bell radio show, Coast to Coast AM, you do know what that is, right? Yeah. No, not really. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know where to start because um, because it's sort of probably the story probably requires like. A little bit of prior knowledge. Let's is just it say like is it just like a morning zoo kind of thing? Like is it no, one of those? No, 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 no. It's it's the exact opposite of that. So okay. Coast Coast AM is this late night AM radio program that so it was this guy Art Bell who did just like talk shows, like sort of like a Larry, sort of like a low rent Larry King okay. kind of talk show host. You know, he did. I guess he did some politics and so on, but mostly like libertarian politics and. Okay. Like other types of current event type thing. So eventually, like, he decided that he was going to basically start taking, like, paranormal calls. Uh, so the show pretty much got turned into, like, a paranormal uh, AM ra late night radio talk show. So the paranormal meaning, like, paranormal, like, aliens, like, any anything like that. Aliens. Um, so, okay. you know, like, you know, like, a communion. We've talked about Willie Stryber, right? Like, yeah. Art Bell has, like, Whitley Stryber on a lot. Like, that's who goes on his show. Like, Whitley Stryber goes on to talk about, like, Whitley Stryber had this whole thing where he believed, if, if you look up, like, the Whitley, Whitley Stryber's Wikipedia article, it's, like, this long involved story about how Whitley Stryber was visited by, like, um, like, he believes himself to be visited, or he basically tells a story where he was visited by, like, a man in black, and the man in black basically told him all this stuff and everything. He wrote a book about it. Yeah. So Willie Stryver's like, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of like Communion. Um, I thought it was a, I thought I'd seen the movie. I, I read the book. I mean, um, you know, so I, it's a work of fiction. It's fine, but it, I don't really think it actually happened to Willie Stryver, you know. So I don't think he was actually abducted by aliens. I would say there's, there's a very low probability of that happening. Of that that actually happened. Okay. Um, but Art Bell also has like people like um, he used to have this uh, this guy Richard Hoagland on. Well, he still has him occasionally. I mean, not he, Art Bell's not doing the show, but he used to have a guy named Richard Hoagland who was like certifiably crazy. Um, and to the point where Richard Hoagland was actually like Art Bell was so popular at the point. There's another talk show host in LA called named Phil Hendry. Hold up, hold up. Oh, sorry. What is going on right now? Yeah, that's a good question. They've just started up with the drones again. Yeah. Um, uh, Art Bell was, was so popular that he inspired parodies. Like, oh, good. There were actually like guys that parodied him. But, um, yeah, what's the, what, what are we looking for? But anyway, so Paranormal Talk Show. There's growling and shit. What the? Yeah. So, Mel's Hole, there was a guy who called up named Mel, and he claimed that he found a hole in the middle of the desert that, like, there was growling coming from it and everything, and apparently, like, one of the things he claimed was the hole was that he tossed, like, a dead dog inside and the dog came back to life. Uh... Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, that was Mel, what Mel's hole was. It was basically the spooky hole that this guy claimed that he had on his property or something. Or he claimed that he found. And it, all this spooky stuff happened around Mel's hole. And there was actually an art show in California called, like, uh, like Rumination. It was, um, it was like called, like, Ruminations from Mel's Hole or something. Or, like, Live from Mel's Hole. Okay. And I went to it. It was all, like, an Art Bell-themed, like, art show. 
it's kind of infamous. To, um, to, to, you know, to uh, that people, what people kind of bring up when they talk about Art Bell. So this is kind of interesting. This is the first time I've seen this kind of arrangement. Mechanic with the door and everything, with the, with the, with the blocking like that and everything. The yeah, wire. there's just wire. What the fuck? The, the other thing that, that Art Bell does on his show is the bumper music is, uh, the intro music is uh, a song called The Chase. A Giorgio, it's a Giorgio Marauder song from uh, the Midnight Express soundtrack. Hmm. So it's like very distinctive. Like he uses very distinctive like um, like bumper music on the show. Like uh, one of the things he does a lot. This is going back to like one of our other discussions. But like he would play ABBA as like the bumper music. So in the parody, the Phil Hendry parody of Art Bell, um, you would hear like Dancing Queen. Nice. <laughs> like so he would he would play like. You know, I think that was like the one thing that I remember about the parody of uh, the film of uh, Art Bell, Coast to Coast AM. But um, yeah, there's more stuff. I mean, I, I'll I could talk you, I could talk about it for hours, and I won't. So um, <laughs> okay, because we only have thirty minutes left in the stream. But because it's it's a fascinating thing to me, like because I've been at, like at work, um, I've worked with people who are like who were like serious Art Bell listeners, like would listen. You know, because, like, when you're working late and you're in visual effects and stuff, you have yeah. to, like, if you're there until, like, 2 a.m. or 1 a.m. or you're working, or you're working, like, night crew or something, like, you're going to listen to it because you're going to listen, you need something to listen to while you're working like that late. So, like, there are people that, if they were on night crew or something, they would listen to it. So, uh, or they were up late or whatever. So, it was, it was very popular in, um, I feel like it wasn't popular in, um, in New Jersey that much, but, or in New York. But out here, because our bell's from Nevada, I think it's like super pop. It was super popular out here, you know. So, I think the other reason too why it was popular out here, one of the reasons why it was popular out here was because it started a lot earlier. Like it didn't start at midnight or one a.m. Like right. it, didn't to it. it started at like ten or like nine p.m. or something. So like people would other other times like people would listen to it out here because it was on earlier. Uh, you know, he would start the broadcast like around midnight on the East Coast or whatever. Right, right. So yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it was an interesting, it's an interesting thing. It's kind of like uh, he's just Art Bell's also like a really weird dude. Holy shit! Um, this is he, a really weird room. Yeah, it looks like a the video drum room a little uh, bit. Yeah, but up upstairs like from the there, we've got um, some kind of a four faced sculpture. Yeah. Are there jewels in this thing? What does what does James say about it? He doesn't say anything. Is one of them the oppressor? Uh, yeah, it could be. I mean, the oppressor, the um, the sharp, no, the uh, the gluttonous, the gl the gluttonous man, um, and the uh. It's like some Zardoz shit or something. I don't know right. what's going on there. Yeah, and now we've got like a. We got another fucking puzzle. A metal. Metal room. What, what feels is this? like a. Feels like something from a. From like labyrinth or something, like that. <laughs> or like or, or some sort of weird. You know, feels like a little bit like labyrinth. Mm-hmm. I think spikes are going to come out of those. Yeah. I have a feeling that there's there's something to do with spikes in that room. Okay, so... I turn the head and the door goes away. That, the door goes away. That that makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Um, so it's another, definitely... Another thing. It's definitely doing something. Yeah. So I guess you just need to you need to find the right portals or doors out that um It's funny that there's like one upside down one. Dun 
dun dun dun dun dun dun dun dun dun dun dun dun dun dun dun I don't know. I don't know if this is something we can solve from here. Uh, it seems like. Are there any changes to this room that happen when you uh, when you manipulate the um, bed? Is there anything what? Are there any other additional changes to this room, or this room closes when you turn the head away? This this room closes for two of the four options. Okay. So I'm going to pick one of the two that is closed that isn't the red upside down face. Okay. And then I'm going to leave and I'm going to try and get to those other ladders that I didn't look at previously. Okay. Because maybe we can come at this place from the other side or something? Yeah. And these this monsters are like, just, they're just always like going to be here. This, I don't think video drum was really a uh, inspiration, but those kind of look like the video drum room. Right. Shit. Uh, oh, long fuck. Day in the, long, long day oh, in the my fucking god. Oh, man. What have you gotten yourself into now? Well, that's new and exciting. I don't think we've seen that before. Yeah. We, we did one time, at least. A oh, one time, yeah. Oh, whoa. We got some, uh... We got some bullets, and then we also got a huge fucking sword. That's, uh... That's a good time. That's a huge... That's a huge sword. It's a great knife. That's, um... Pyramid heads or triangle heads. Yeah. Um. I wonder if so. using that thing influences the ending you get. Oh, if you actually use it again, uh, whatever. Because you know, um, like what Konami did with uh, Metal Gear Solid, certain. Certain awards would be given for using or not using certain special items. Yeah. Maybe that's kind of what this is. Okay, so... We got that. So, oh, uh, maybe, uh... actually made me jump. Well, maybe I can use the... A massive weapon wielded by Pyramid Head. Hard to use, but lethal. Okay, I'm gonna equip it. And maybe we can use it to cut the wire? I mean, hopefully, right? Can we actually equip it? Yeah. And that is a no clip with the wire. And wow, that shit makes me fucking walk really slow. Yeah. I'm just going to put that away. Yeah, you got to drag it everywhere. Hmm. 
I wonder if you. I wonder if there's like a cutter or something or some sort of bolt cutter type thing that you can use to wire like a. Yeah, it's definitely heavy. Hmm. Especially like that. Um, that we continue to have a map in this area, even though we didn't pick one up and. And it's like hand drawn. Hmm. That's pretty great. Well, J James is, a, is an industrious fellow. Yeah, Palandé, it is real heavy. Well, okay, back to the uh, Zardos face. You? Yep. Zardos, Zardos, Zardos. I uh, am switching it to the red upside down face. I still. We can't get into the room while it's like that, but I guess we'll backtrack again. Uh, I look healthy enough. Nothing to worry about. Speaking about other spooky stuff, I did buy the uh, the Blu-ray of uh, Return of the Living Dead. Uh, you know, I never really went for the non-Romero Living Dead titles. Return of the Living Dead is actually the uh, the really. I think there's a. Uh, I think that series is actually uh, pretty good. Wasn't uh, wasn't it those movies that? Oh, weird. Those wasn't movies it... are the ones where they invented the whole idea of uh, eating brains. Brain. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the one and only, if I remember. Or I, I guess maybe not the one and only, but those movies like, alone. I think there's like there's at least three of the Return of the Living Dead. I really want these things to just stay dead. Yeah. They're very effect efficient at, like, getting up. Yeah. No, they're, they're expert. Despite the fact that they don't really have arms. Okay. So... I'm going back down to the crazy floor walkers. What is up with this place? Like, this doesn't actually make any sense to me at all. You mean with the floor walkers? Yeah. Look, they had to add another basement, and they need to put some guys in the other base, because there are some down there, and they, they just decided to uh, walk on the, uh, the ceiling, which was a wire mesh. What's so difficult to understand? I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, all of that is absolutely true. Um. I don't know, man. I am at a loss. I, yeah, I I'm think... Yeah, I'm a little packed out. And right I got all well. I got all fucked up from the floor walker things. Yeah. I had to use one of my ampules. Ampule. Okay, so I'm I'm just leaving. I don't I don't know what else I can do here. Okay. I got a I got a big sword. 
maybe that can open up something. But oh, yeah. wait, no, no, we can barely go upstairs at all, right? Because because we jumped down five fucking oh, we jumped holes. Down the holes. Yeah, we're kind of like stuck here, right? Yeah, I mean, shit. So we gotta like trigger something to get out. Well, we're not gonna trigger something tonight, but yeah, it's looking doubtful. Ugh. Oh well. Fucking wire. Open oh, up. Oh well. Do I have anything in my inventory? That might be able to cut the wire. I mean, yeah. Cut the wire. I've got uh, I've got a rifle. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I I didn't really know how to do the uh the sample for that. Um. I'm gonna save it up. And um. We'll take a, we'll take another quick look around. We'll check out the elevator. I don't like James's face. James has a terrible face. Uh, yeah. He's he's very like, like. He's a less lovable version of Peter Sellers in Being There or whatever that movie was. He's just like completely. <laughs> Completely <laughs> blank all the time. I for, I completely blanking on what his name was in that movie. Now it was Charlie something. Uh, Chauncey Chauncey Gardner. Chauncey Gardner. Chauncey Gardner. Yes. Because 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 he was the one, gardener. He was the gardener. Yeah. And but Chance the gardener, Chauncey Gardner. Or, yep. Some, yes, I do remember that. But um, I like to watch. I remember that. Part. Yeah. Exactly. That's James. Um, <laughs> James, James, I like to watch Thunderland. <laughs> I like it how you, you compare him to Peter Sellers being there. That's a very intellectual comparison. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, that movie's kind of like a... It's somewhat of a fantasy commentary, I guess, kind of feel. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I don't know. I mean, he's just... He's vapid. He is, like... He's in a strange town full of monsters looking for his already dead wife. Like, what the fuck? Like, I get it. You wish your wife wasn't dead, but... If you uh, if you reference uh, another like a couple other '70s movies, like maybe um, like The Deer Hunter or something tonight, then uh, it would be uh, kind of because I talked about Midnight Express. So right, right. If you uh, if you reference, I don't know what you're kind of blanking on what your Midnight Express was now, but um, but uh, if you uh, if you reference another couple '70s movies or, or early '80s movies, that's uh, about Scarface. No, I'm so Scarface. <laughs> I did not like Scarface. I know we talked about this. You're not. You are not the biggest Brian De Palma fan. We've no. already discussed this. You, you oh, that was. Uh, oh shit! What was that? You that refused other to watch one. Carlito's Way. Um, yeah, I, I'm not really interested. Um, okay, so. God damn it. It would be great if we could wrap up the prison tonight, but it's not gonna happen. Uh am I am I at the point? Am I at the point? I think I am. Um I'm gonna ask the internet about the rotating face puzzle. Hold on. Okay. Uh what's what's my query? Silent Hill to prison. Face cube puzzle. Where head cube is? That's what your query was. I'm just giving you a query. Oh, weird. From where 
head cube. So this uh, this article calls this entire section of the game the labyrinth. Oh wow! Hmm. Um, and according to this, which is clearly not worried about spoilers at all. Oh. We're supposed to be looking for. Uh... Oh God damn it! Uh, okay, so there's a whole section that we didn't do. Yeah, we can we can rotate multiple ways. I had no idea we had multi-axis control. I guess that was my bad. Six, six degrees of freedom. <laughs> So I, I think the web page I looked at said yellow upside down was was always the solution, I think. But oh. Right. Just like that. So that was it. The whole the whole deal was I didn't know we could twist the cube two ways. Twist the cube. Twist the cube. Yeah. Worth it. What is what is happening right now? Oh, we got a cutscene. Okay. You're alive! Maria, I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and James, then- James, what are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <sighs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything, but you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. I'm so confused. How do you know about that? Yeah, me too. Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. How do you solve a problem like Maria? So, you're Maria? They're like doing who's I on am. first. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. No. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? I... don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. Well... <laughs> he is like Johnny Gardner, bro. I can be there. <laughs> it's a very apt description.
Okay, so they gave us a wire cutter. So I guess we're doing this now. Oh, I, I thought that was like my audio, kind of. And not the uh, arcing of the electricity. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to tell. These games, they get sneaky like that. I went the wrong way. God damn it. I get so turned around in this weird-ass hallway. That's the dead end. Okay, fuck. Owen, come on. Wow, he is like an incredible wire cutter. Oh my god, James. How the fuck did you do that so fucking fast? That's... Snip, snip, snip. Like, my hand would hurt after doing that. But he was all about it. Yeah. Snip, 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 just like you said. But this was like the whole thing about Silent Hill, right? That we, we talked about all the time on our yeah. damn poor Let's Play. Like the, the main character is just always completely uh, ob oblivious to, to everything that's going on around him. Yeah. We're coming up to the end of the stream here. I'm, I'm going to try and play on just to get this to a conclusion. I uh, I just wanted to share something hilarious with you. Yeah. Uh, so Nigel Farage is going to attend the Republican National Convention. Who, who is that? The guy who runs you, who basically was in charge of Brexit, who like oh. basically the head of UKIP. The yeah, 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 yeah. Having criticized President Obama for getting involved in British politics, I'm not about to endorse anybody. But I do know a lot of people in the Republican Party, and I'll be interested to hear what Donald Trump has to say in his big speech. Thanks, Nigel. Yeah, that is, um... Just the kind of endorsement Trump deserves, I think. Yeah, like the guy who basically just decided to quit UKIP after, you know, after he gets what he wants. He's basically like, I'm done. Jesus Christ, what is this place?
so um, what do you what do you think about getting hands on a copy of Sweet Home? Is that something we can do? I think so. This is a movie I've never heard anything about until I saw the uh, the articles on Wikipedia about the game. We are, um, we're getting further and further off the beaten path. Yeah. This is uncharted territory. Oh, we got a save card right here. And there's a newspaper on the ground. It's stained with something that looks like blood and is partially illegible. Well, James, anything that's partially illegible is partially legible. Am I right? <laughs> he agrees. We're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna give it our best effort. Um... <laughs> I don't know what to make of this, but, uh, okay. Uh, something about a stabbing, um, the body of a man later identified as Tomer, Thomas, or Ar Ar Orozco lumberjack. Call of, of death uh, was multiple stab wounds to the front. The estimated time of death was somewhere between. Pam, people are considering. Yeah. So I guess all those letters were cut out. Uh, I think those are like obscured by blood. I think that's what they were going for. Oh. So. So okay, we uh, we made it to a save card. Labyrinth hallway was that save location. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess I guess we'll pick it up if uh, if you want to stick with it. We can uh, we can go a little while longer and try and and push this through, but oh Jesus! We can do a little bit while longer until like ten thirty or so. Yeah, that sounds good. Because I'm getting super tired. So, oh, Jesus Christ. Wanna... What? Oh, uh, wow. Okay, I need a... I need a gun. Oh, man. Well, that just really snuck up on us. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, quit sucking on me. Maybe you should use the big knife. You want me to use the big knife on him? Fine, use a shotgun. It's fine. I mean, I, I think he's about to kill me. 
Why not? Either that or like make out with you. Yeah. Uh, He's getting really bloody though. He did it. He just destroyed me. It's game over. <laughs> oh god damn it. That's so vile. That is pretty vile. Let's try this again. You uh you think do we still have... Yeah, we still got the ampule power. That's great. So we'll start with the, uh... The Great Knife. Yes, the Great Knife. We're just gonna roll up in there. With our Great Knife. Great Knife. I feel like this is, um... Like a... Trap. Like a joke weapon. Because it's like, it's got... Daddy, no. It's got no guard. Like, normally. Mm -hmm. Why was she yelling, Daddy? Why is there a TV in the corner of the flesh room? Oh, man. This thing is really tough to use. Flash room. I don't know if I can wield use this successfully. Uh -oh. This is... And, you know, you have to trap him in the corner and then wind up and then hit him again. Yeah. Because I guess he moves too fast, right? Oh, yeah. There's, like, no way to get away from him unless I, you know... Unequip it and re-equip it, maybe. Seems like a bad deal. So I also, I got, um... I got a hunting rifle that I haven't tried yet. Oh, but it's only got four shots, and it's a long time between shots. Maybe I'll, uh... Go with the old handgun. See how that does. Pop some... Pop some caps. I guess the um, the worry is that the handgun won't output enough damage. I mean, if you can get off enough shots, though, you could you could sh you could shoot him a couple times with the handgun, and then shoot him with the shotgun next. I mean, you want to beat him. Man, he is... very good at just grabbing me. Yeah, he's tough, though. But that is a blood trail on the floor there, right? Yep. Yeah, it's so hard to get around him, too. Right. You have to, like, fire a couple times and then run. so bad. You yeah. just gotta know how many shots you can get in before he gets too close, I guess. Are you yeah. Okay? Oh, there you go. She's a mess. 
like some sort of Doctor Who villain. Like a gross version of it, though. <laughs> Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want, then? Oh, I see. You're okay, it's done. It's fine, you're done. I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela, Yikes. Don't touch me. Yikes. You make me sick. I like the uh the Cronenberg esque flesh pistons mounted the on the walls. Pistons? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do like that. Yes. I'm a big she fan of uh, flesh pistons. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I never. Hmm. <laughs> Her voice is kind of strange. Yeah. I don't know what accent she's supposed to have. Well, I never. I do declare. The, um. The walking sound in this room is just incredible. Yeah. Fleshy. <laughs> Fleshy mix flesh e flesh flesh. Hmm. So that's it, right? That's it for tonight? Now we just walk out of here? Can we get a save? Is everything cool now? Do we get a save point? Uh, I think we can we can probably go back to that last save card. Let's see. But I was kind of hoping that it would just let us walk right out. Oh, no. Do we have to go down another hole? Um. Okay. So we got some we got some hangman riddle nonsense. Yeah. What's in here? We got a... We got a handcuffed crank to open what is probably our way out. And, uh, you know what? 
I don't feel like solving this right now. So we're going to save that for next time. Yeah, there we go. Saved it up. And uh, I like to watch. Yeah. I like to watch. That's our <laughs> new catchphrase. Well, that was uh, uh, certainly an interesting uh, battle with the uh, fleshy thing. Yeah, the fleshy um, thing can get fucked. That yeah, we uh, kicked her ass. Anyway. All right. I think I'm good. Yeah, hopefully we'll actually get back to the streets uh, next stream. I feel like we're almost done here. Yeah, cool. Uh. Welp. Well, all right. Uh, right. Yeah, we'll be back uh, on Thursday at at 8. Same bat time, same bat channel. And we'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for tuning in again. Have a good night.